Hey guys, Spanish Gem 669 here. I'm going to do a video tonight on my Asian DVD collection. Now these are films from China, Hong Kong and Japan. So I'll get into it because there's a pretty big stack here. Start off with the TV series, Japanese TV series Monkey. And I used to love this show as a kid. Monkey, Pigsy and Sandy. It used to be really popular here in Australia in the 90s. Next got Takashi Miike's Sukiyaki Western Django. One of his lesser known films, but I really like this one. Really insane, as of as are all of Takashi Miike's films. A mix between uh, a West a spaghetti western and a samurai movie. And a lot of colour, a lot of blood. Just yeah, typical Takashi Miike. Really like this one. It's got a Chinese film, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. This is a classic martial arts film. Really good. I like these kind of films. We've got another Chinese film, House of Flying Daggers. Not as good as Crouching Tiger, but yeah, it was still really interesting. Great, just everything. The colours, the fights, everything about it, just really good. Another Chinese film, Curse of the Golden Flower. Now this one didn't have as much action, but it had a really interesting story. Another really, really good Chinese film. We've got a Jet Li film now, Fearless. This is one of his better films. Had a really good story to it. Another Jet Li film, Hero. Now this, the colour in this movie is amazing. It's a beautifully made movie. I think the colours are blue. The, the story is, I'm not going to go into the story, but it has three different stories in it. One story has a lot of blue in it. Another story has a lot of white in it. And a lot, another story has a lot of red in it. And it's just beautifully shot. It's a really good film. We go to Hong Kong for The Eye, the original. I didn't really like this one, but uh, it had its moments. Japanese film Pulse. This one created a really good mood to it. A real feeling of loneliness and isolation. Very good. Japanese film again, The Grudge. Now this is a really, really freaky movie. The remake was absolute rubbish, but this one was really good. It was really freaky. It actually took me a few guys to get it, get the actual movie, but or to understand it. But yeah, it was very good. Now this one, I'm not sure what country this is from. China. I haven't actually watched it. It's this dragon from Russia. As I said, I haven't seen it, so I really can't comment on it. I'll have to get around to it. I just completely forgot about this one. If any of you guys out there have seen it, let me know what you thought of it. A Chinese film? Or is it Hong Kong? I don't know, I'll just say Chinese. Iron Monkey. This is a classic martial arts film. This is the two disc platinum edition. It's got some classic scenes, martial art, like fights and Donnie Yen at his best. And from the director of the action director of Kill Bill and the Matrix trilogy. Yeah, this is a really, really good film. A lot of fun. The acting is oh, it's a pretty cheesy sort of movie, but it's awesome. The, the, the fights in it are just really cool. Another movie I really liked, and another Japanese movie, Azumi. It's about an assassin in the samurai era. Over the top blood, like blood just spewing out of wounds, and at the end she takes on something like 200 soldiers, and it's a really far-fetched movie, but it's a lot of fun. There's a really good villain in it too, Ijimaru, the guy in the white. It's a really good villain. 
yeah, this is a, is a good movie. And then my last films, oh, make sure it doesn't fall. There we go. Well, the last films I have to show are Once Upon a Time in China, Once Upon a Time in China 2, and Once Upon a Time in China 3. Jet Li, another really good film, or a really good tri trilogy, I should say. Um, yeah, definitely, with all these films, like the Once Upon a Time in China movies, Fearless, Curse of the Golden Flower, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and all those other kind of like Chinese martial arts movies. Don't watch them dubbed because it just takes away. Like the dubbing is just ridiculous, and it's much better actually viewing the movie in the the language that it's supposed to be spoken in. So the dubbing, especially in Once Upon a Time in China, is just so ridiculous. I couldn't concentrate, and so I had to change it over to the Chinese language, which is much better. All right, guys, that's it for this. DV oh, video showing off my Asian DVD collection. Hope you liked it and I'll see you guys later.